Hey ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's me, Kyoto Shadow 24 and welcome to a brand new episode of Pokemon White 2 Chaos. Who is it? Oh, it's you. Uh, welcome back. Ah, oh, my legs. <laughs> How's it going, dude? What's up? Excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. What are they? Oh, Oran Berries. Thank you so much, mister. Those are Oran Berries. If you give one to your Pokemon, its HP will be restored. What's more, you can give your Pokemon a berry to hold. Like this Oran Berry, for instance. When a Pokemon holds this berry, it can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regain some of its lost HP. Well, I just told you to challenge the gym leader. The Spurtius gym leader is a very strong Pokemon trainer. But you have nothing to worry about. If you think hard about what the Pokemon at your side can do, and what you should do as a trainer, victory will be yours. And then you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take on the gym leaders of each city. Working together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. As you and your Pokemon grow stronger, your world will get broader. Alright, thanks for the helpful tip, my friend. Hey, will you, will, will you show me again? Okay, great, he will. Wait, wait, is it? No, I don't know. Okay, show me. Yes. Yeah, everybody applaud. Woo, yeah, awesome. Encore, encore. I don't know why I did that. Whatever, we're going to go and face the gym leader. Oh, an old friend. I cannot wait. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, if you have if actually, if you're coming from my Pokemon Black and White walkthrough that I'm currently doing, <laughs> which uh, I'm not doing, I'm just preparing for the future, uh, <laughs> then you'll know who this gym leader is. Congrats! You've watched pretty far, or you've probably watched the first episode of that Black and White walkthrough, and you already know exactly who this is going to be. Anyway, whatever. I'm just preparing for the for when I ultimately end up doing a black and white walkthrough. Whatever. Uh, let's just let's move on, shall we? <laughs> okay. So this is the gym. I asked Alder from Flo Kissy Town to teach here. He declined, saying it was the era of young people now. If only everybody understood that. I guess not. Whatever. What's up? You're gonna quiz me, ain't ya? Do you use items during Pokemon battles? If you'd like, try using this. Oh, okay, he just gives you a free item. I'm pretty damn sure there's a guy that... Someone's playing Steam games, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a guy that gives you a quiz somewhere. Normal type Pokemon are weak to fighting type Pokemon, but the only Pokemon around here that are like that are... The one here... The only Pokemon around here like that are Riolo. Okay, there you go, that makes sense. Man, dyslexia is a battle. Anyway, what's up? It's a technique that enables you to cancel evolution. Here, I'll read the textbook to you. You can surprise a Pokemon and stop its evolution by pressing the B button when a Pokemon is evolving. Thank you very much for the helpful tip. Let's move on and beat the beep out of Jaren. Never, <laughs> never mind. Hello, I'm Clyde, the guide for trainers who challenge Pokemon gyms. Thank you for taking on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut. Cool. That heals 100 HP. Very helpful. Pokemon gyms are facilities for testing trainers' abilities. For Put simply, if you can defeat the gym leader, it means you're a really good trainer. If you run out of Pokemon that can fight during a Pokemon battle, you lose. So, having a lot of Pokemon with you might work to your advantage. Keep that in mind. Oh, man. You must be a challenger! Welcome to Aspertia City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Sharon, the gym leader. Hmm, well, maybe I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. I almost slipped up there, but I I picked myself up from that fall. We have a challenger. You two, take your places. If you can defeat these two, then I'll be your opponent. Oh, mister. You're so... Did he say his name yet? Whatever, in case he didn't, I won't say it. Anyway, oh, okay, Sharon saw potential in me and made me a trainer in this gym. Okay, do you get paid for this, I wonder? I could just chill out here and be a gym leader. I mean, I'm probably better than these dudes combined. Pedro! Okay, he has a Patrat. Very nice. Oh, I gotta catch a Pokemon. I don't know what to catch, guys. Oh, this might be the episode where I finally get a new badge. 
to add to the layout that you guys see. I wonder what that'll look like. Will I add a graphic for it? Will it just pop into existence? What's gonna happen? I'll probably just make it fade into into the shadow or whatever. I'll make it, uh, or the shadow will fade out. There you go. I'll probably do it like that. That sounds lovely to my brain right now. I do that. Very simple. Nothing too extravagant. I'm not sure. Don't expect anything flashy. I'm only... Only, uh... Only a little guy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how to explain what I'm trying to say. I learned to Vince Curl. I don't really care about Odor Sleuth. There's no ghost types around here, so... Whatever. Lollipop or Yotari! Very cute. Alright, let's ember this guy's butt. There you go, I singed her fur. Oh, he even burned. Okay, cool. So I did singe his fur, actually. Poor little guy. Oh well, whatever. Oh yes, 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 we are going to win. This is a good, good day for Chaos. Man, I am hyped up today. I don't know why. I was all passive aggressive yesterday on uh, about Terraria, and uh, now I'm all good. If you can defeat the girl too, you can challenge the gym leader. Oh, bring it on, sweet cheeks. Now I'll show you all of the things I learned from Charon. Is it Sharon or Charon or Charon? What is it? I think it's Sharon. Sh like the SH kind of sound. Serena, I will beat you. You are going to lose, muchacha. Let's do this. All right. Ember. I mean tackle, I guess. Oops, <laughs> forgot to push down. I was mashing the A button like a noob, like a nub. Whatever, we Ember isn't that important. Maybe we'll do some damage with it. Who cares? Will we kill it or not? No, we won't. Okay, not important then. Oh man, I just want to play Elder Scrolls Online. I don't know why, but I've been so addicted to that game lately. It does kind of strain you a bit after a while. It's like, ah, too much talking. Ah, oh, I can't be bothered going to one place just for more talking. There's a lot of MMOs that are focused on fighting, and it has a very lackluster story. Or, uh, the MMOs. I'm not talking about ESO. But ESO has a very, very amazing story, but not much fighting. It's crazy. I really like that. It's a good, uh, it's a good contrast between the two, you know? It's a lot of MMOs that involve fighting, and frankly, I'm sick of them. Wildstar actually did a pretty good job of that. I think that was... Is that made by an American developer? It's made by... Definitely not made by Koreans, that's for sure, because Koreans are all about the grind. I don't know why. Why do most Korean games have... Uh, the grind in the MMOs. It's interesting. Okay, you're pretty good, but can you beat Sharon? Before anyone calls me out for being racist, a simple ac uh, accusation, a simple, uh, whatever, view, it's not racist. Just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's battle to let, oh, let's both do our best and have a battle we can be proud of. Sounds good. Ugh, I don't want to get into a rant, but I'm just saying, oh, he's all sweaty. Damn, I'm not gonna bring racism into this. Let's just have fun. Let's do this. But really though, most Korean MMOs, so grindy, so sick of it. But Wildstar, I believe, isn't Korean. Either that or it was made, uh, or it was tailored to Americans somehow. I'm not sure, maybe they changed it up. That's the thing with MMOs, there was this game called Blade and Soul that just came out. That said, they fixed all that, they tailored all the quests to get rid of the grind, which they totally didn't, and that game is horrible. I feel so sorry for anyone that bought a Founders Pack to that game. I bought one. I had to get my money back. It was horrible. By MMO standards, anyway. So, yeah. I don't know. I can see why people would think it's good, but it's really not compared to others. Anyway, he said something about it being a gym leader and not faltering or something. Oh! Oh! Oh, we gotta be careful. Okay. Whoa, critical hit. Alright. Very nice. Let's go ahead and use our fresh water that- Oh, it heals 50 HP. Excuse me, not 100 HP. My bad. Aw, oh, he healed too, the big jerk. Ah, uh, you stink. Aw, oh, there you go. Maybe we can get another- Maybe another critical hit. Oh, don't be using that, my friend. Don't be using that. He might be able to one-hit us. 
Okay. Oh no, this is so bad. Okay, I have defense curls for the specific reason. Oh no. Okay, good. I'm so glad I learned this. I hope I don't die, hope I don't die, hope I don't die. Come on, defense curl to oblivion. That one too much? Yes! Okay, defense curl seems to be working. Very nice, very nice. Um, if you guys are enjoying this so far, please don't hesitate to leave a like uh, on this video. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, okay, come on now. That's only gonna heal 20. That's cool, whatever. Hopefully he doesn't get a crit, man. That'd be horrible. Let's just use Ember. Critical hits are the worst. Oh gosh. Oh, this is scaring me. Oh. Okay. Oh, he's burnt too! Yes! Victory! Okay. Oh no, don't crit. Yes! Okay, awesome. We beat him! That's amazing! I can't believe we took him on. With such style. This! This is what a real Pokemon battle is, or something. That's awesome! That battle has made me feel really glad you were my first challenger as a gym leader. I give you this in honor of my strength, for, uh, of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. Okay, <laughs> I'm horrible at reading today. Whatever, there's the basic badge, everybody. We got it. Into the badge case it goes. And of course the layout has changed as well. Can't receive the basic badge from Sharon. Here is your first gym badge, the basic badge. This is an important milestone. With this badge, Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. And I want you to take this. Aw oh, yeah, we all work up. That's actually very helpful. Thank you. That's gonna come in handy. TM83 can teach you teach your Pokemon the move work up. When you use Work Up while battling, it raises the user's at users, the viewers, the viewers, users attack and its B attack, special attack. By the way, teams can be used as many times as you want. In the Unova region, there are eight Pokemon badges and eight gym badges. I mean, Pokemon gyms and whatever. If you're a trainer, you can collect all of them. That will make it easier to fill the pages of the Pokedex as well. Yes, two years ago, Pokedex in hand, I left on a journey with my friends. And that's it for that story, I suppose. Tell me more. And the, okay, just gonna say it again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Spare me the sob story, would ya? Anyway, let's move on. What do you have to say, bro? I hope you remember the wonderful moment in which you received that badge forever. Thank you, I appreciate it. Well, unless there's someone waiting for us outside that might just do it for this episode. There is someone waiting outside. <laughs> okay. Hey! What's up? How was it? How did your Pokemon battle with the gym leader go? Oh, if it isn't the basic badge. Wow, amazing! And you just sit off on your journey with your Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer, I'm sure of it. This is from me. It's the TM for the move return. Aw, uh, yeah! I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, I tried. <laughs> I got the TM for return! When a Pokemon knows return, the more it gets along with the trainer, the more powerful the move is. Okay, still, that's Sharon. Bianca! It's been two years, hasn't it? Oh, wow! What's up? I thought it would be a good idea to register each other in the X-Transceiver. I know it's cross-transceiver, whatever, get off my back. Now you can communicate with me from your cross-transceiver. Me too! I registered Professor Juniper for you too! The cross transceiver is ringing! Yes! Thank you! Who is calling me? Hi there, Chaot! I'm Professor Juniper! Bianca told me you accepted the Pokedex! Thank you so much! Thanks to you, we will all know more about Pokemon and be able to get along with them even better! Hi, Professor Juniper! It's really interesting over here! There are so many Pokemon we couldn't prove they were here prove were here two years ago! Thank you for going so far for this errand, Bianca. And Sharon, how are you enjoying being a gym leader? Professor Juniper, it's been a long time. I'm glad you're doing so well. The gym leader position is very tough. If I had my usual partners... Oh, Sharon. Having battles that come down to the wire will make you a gym leader who deepens the bonds between the, your challenges and their Pokemon, right? It'll be fine. Sharon, Sharon's a new gym leader. I'm an assistant Pokemon professor, and Chaot is a new trainer. But we always have Pokemon by our sides. 
Wow, I messed that up. That's right, Bianca. Our world is a world where we live with Pokemon. Everyone, keep that in mind as you pursue your dreams with your Pokemon. Particularly you, particularly you, Chaot. I can never say that word. The Pokedex may be important, but first enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your heart's content. Isn't it till your heart's content? Like, until your heart is content? Whatever. Hey, Chaot, is not Professor Juniper cool? If you talk to her on the cross transceiver, she'll evaluate the completeness of your Pokedex or tell you a lot about how Pokemon evolve. And you can call us too, of course. What was that? That was a weird slur. I'll tell you how well you and your Pokemon are getting along, okay? Bianca makes a good point. I'll tell you what I know about Pokemon abilities and Pokemon type matchups. Thank you very much. Oh, it's you. Are you the gym leader? One, two, three, let's battle! You look like a tough trainer. Understood. Please come into my Pokemon gym. What was that weak answer? I'm definitely going to take you down. And off he goes. Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. Yeah, having to deal with those guys. The next thing is to make it so you can use the Sea Gear. The Sea Gear is a cool device for communication such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, which has been discontinued. All right, the Sea Gear, turn it on. No, it's useless. Some functions of the Sea Gear will be restricted. Is that okay? Yes. If you want to turn on the Sea Gear, touch the power symbol at the bottom right of the Sea Gear screen. Then, after turning on the power, if you touch the question mark icon in the bottom right corner of the Sea Gear screen, you can read about the Sea Gear. Like, what are you gonna do now? You know, there's another Pokemon gym in Furback City, which is just past Flokesi Town. Okay. What else do you have to say? Come on. Uh, th there you go. Check this. The Sea Gear was activated, and that screen showed up. Okay, yeah, you're just gonna tell me useless stuff. Yep, 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 okay. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.